My name's Johnny. Hey, how's it going, Joker fam? It's Haha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back out again with my video for you guys. And today, as you guys can see in our top lineup, bro, we have Eric Dickerson and we also have Captain of America's Most Wanted, Charles Woodson. Now, obviously, I've had already talked about Charles Woodson before. Honestly, just made more sense just to go ahead, try to get Eric Dickerson first. And then go ahead and just get a gameplay with them both so we have something to go on um, go over on offense and go over on defense you feel me so i'm gonna go ahead jump into the team and of course get you guys gameplay so real quick before we get into eric dickerson's stats man if you guys enjoy content like this man if you guys enjoy greatest theme team content or just theme team content in general man make sure you guys drop a like and also don't get subscribed to the channel man it's free only takes one second and also feel free to comment down below your thoughts and opinions on eric dickerson your thoughts and opinions on charles woodson thoughts and the theme teams on the raiders theme team or as it is Raiders in real life, man. When you guys comment down below, man, it helps push the algorithm, helps get the video out to more people. But with that being said, man, Eric Dickerson comes in at 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 85 agility, 85 carrying, 77 catch, 88 change of direction, 88 trucking, and an 89 break tackle. Now, one of the key things between him and Devon A Chain, as you guys should know or don't know, I am running a Raiders theme team and a Dolphins theme team. More specifically, of the reason why. These are my favorite, my favorite teams in the NFL. But obviously, as you guys know, Devon A. Chain is a speedster of a running back. Now, of course, he does have the uh, breakout um, upgrades, which allows him to get plus one speed. Without that, obviously, he would be at the same speed as Eric Dickerson or theme team. You know, so as it is, man, this is what Eric Dickerson is looking like. Another key point to hit on, too, as far as with the running backs, too, obviously, weight does matter to some extent in this game obviously eric dickerson being 220 and devon hm being 188 we're going to see how much this is going to play a difference as far as breaking tackles and obviously falling forward in the game and now next up we have captain of america's most wanted charles woodson coming in at 89 speed 90 acceleration 87 agility 87 jump 87 play rack 88 man coverage 87 zone coverage and an 86 press now obviously i've been using charles woodson for a while if you guys have came through to the streams and stuff like that we've had c wood for a little bit obviously charles woodson's a dog i'm not really too worried about him as far as gameplay wise obviously eric dickinson being the newest pickup to the raiders theme team it's gonna be um it's gonna be interesting it really is because as it is running backs aren't as important in this game obviously when you get into the open field and stuff like that and what they're able to do does matter but when it comes down to it if your o-line is not going to pick up blocks if your tight end is not going to pick up blocks like they tend to love to do on my team sometimes uh running the ball is going to be very difficult doesn't matter if you have eric dickerson in or if you have christian mccaffrey in. you know what i'm saying day one christian mccaffrey so as it is, man, this is what the team is looking like, man. This is what the O-line is looking like um, defense or defensively. Tight end-wise, we have moved on from Hunter Henry. Once again, if you guys have watched the uh, stream earlier today for the MCS Most Feared Ladders, um, yeah, not, uh, not good. Not good at all. So Hunter Henry is no longer on the team. Now, as it is, obviously, we are going to be getting Kyle Pitts very soon. So... We are going to sell down to Kincaid back eventually and obviously have um, Kyle Pitts there because he does get all 32 team cams. But um, yeah, uh, Hunter Henry is no longer on the team. Uh, but as it is, man, we are going to still rock out with Michael Penix as a filler. Once again, I've grown very accustomed to M Michael Penix, even though he is a left-handed quarterback. I, I have grown very accustomed to him. And me being left-handed, I'm accustomed to, you know, how for most of y'all, understandably, it being weird using a left-handed quarterback. It's not weird to me it's more natural so it is what it is on that but we still have um cheetah here we have roman dunze here and we have jalen waddle now here's the thing as far as what the raiders theme team is concerned we still have Randy moss we still have roman dunze honestly in a grand scheme of things man roman dunze and Randy moss would be starting at these particular positions but once again as you guys can see to the left of the screen we are 23 out of 21 dolphins and raiders I get it's gonna be weird for some of you guys like yo like when are, we, are you gonna max out the Raiders theme team so on and so forth as much as I want to I would love to but as it is Randy Moss is very outdated he is going to get boxed up by a lot of these corners nowadays and you know what what's his what's his speed now um 87 speed I'm sorry bro like and I get it some people can get open with 87 speed but 
once again, I'm not, I'm not in the, I'm not in the business of just losing games. You know, you know what I'm saying? Just for, you know, just for shits and giggles. So as it is, just to not have to move stuff around or move too many uh, players with 32 team cams and move the 32 team cams over and stuff like that. We're going to just rock out like this. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get Eric Dickerson his touches. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see what Charles Wilson is going to do for America's Most Wanted. And as it is, yeah, America's Most Wanted isn't America's Most Wanted. You know what I'm saying? It's not It's not Raiders theme team. And I get it, bro. We got Jason Taylor. We have Jalen Phillips. We're going to be using Junior Seau, who is a Dolphin. Like, we're primarily... This is primarily Dolphins. You know what I'm saying? But... Right now, as it is, EA is not really showing us too much love for anything else as far as DB wise. I mean, we have Terry on Arnold, and we have Tyler Newbin, who obviously have Raider Kim on them. But once again, their stats are not going to change if they have Dolphin Kim on them. So, it really doesn't matter. But primarily, Javon Holland, you know, Jason Taylor coming off the edge. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be weird, and I and I understand, guys. Like, but as it is, I don't want to give you guys bad gameplay. You know what I'm saying? Just to have. A Raiders team team maxed out to being whatever 40 out of 20 or whatever the case is to max out a Raider theme team just to lose you know what I'm saying and give you guys bad gameplay as it is man some of y'all gonna be rocking top tier O-line some of y'all gonna be rocking whatever it is to go around your Raiders which is why we have Dolphin theme team players on here you know what I'm saying so as it is man if some of y'all don't rock with it I'm sorry man let me know in the comment section below like I said, it is what it is, but to give you guys not only good gameplay, but winning gameplay, we just got to use what's available to us. And right now, what's available to us, it's going to be Dolphins players. You know? I'm going to go ahead, jump to a gameplay, man. We're going to see how Eric Dickerson does, and we're obviously going to see if Charles Wilson could lock it down finally in the gameplay for you guys. All right? See how it was in there. All right, Joe Fam. So we found ourselves a game. There go our Raider boys right there. And we got ourselves Quinn Williams, Aaron Rodgers, and Jason Taylor. Jets team. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, Joe Fam. So if you guys have watched my previous video going over season two and things of that nature, we are running a completely different defense now. We are going to be running more so meta, def meta defense now. We're going to be in dollar primarily until there's a reason that I need to not be in it, but this is what we're gonna be in. But um, obviously Dollar's still gonna be very OP. Once again, I'm not very comfortable in double A gap, so it is what it is. Oh, he's stealing! Let's go, turn on Arnold. All right, Joe friend. So once again, we are an offensive man, hey man. Like I said, yo, I get it. I understand. You know, it's not full Raiders team team, but we're going to do what we got to do to get dubs. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put the best product out there for right now, and we'll go from there. Eventually, when we start getting more Raiders, we'll do what we need to do. But right now, hey, like I said, just putting the best product out in the field. Dickerson, I'll take that. Uh, so we just keep running with uh, Dickerson? Might as well. And we also, I didn't go over the abilities and stuff on him, but we do have Tanked, Energizer, and Reach Forward on him. Once again, I, getting Freight Train is going to be very um, difficult in a sense. Good run. Easy. Easy. Good run. Good run. But uh, getting Freight Train is going to be very difficult. Just It just takes too long to get. Uh, Tank, since everybody loves hit sticking in this game, everybody wants to get the boom stick and stuff like that. Tank is going to be, in my opinion, pretty, pretty big time. And it's a little bit quicker to get. I think you only need two 10-yard two rushes for it. So it just made more sense. But, yeah, as I said, um, defense has changed up a lot, man, as it is. Um, they nerfed my 4-3, my 4-3 over. So, okay, Jair Brown, good shit, baby. This is, one, this is a big-time pickup for me. Jair Brown's a dog, by the way. If you guys are looking for a filler, free safety, or whatever the case is, Jair Brown's that dude. Okay, easy quit. Hey, GG's. We'll take that, man. All right, Joker Ramp. So, we found ourselves another game. There go our Raider boys right there. And we got ourselves Will Levis, Terry McCurl, and Jair Brown. So, he's got two of the best strong safeties in the game, but we're going to see how well that's going to matter as far as running the ball. 
Alright, Joker fam. So, starting on offense first. Hey, man, we're gonna go straight into Toten, bro. We're gonna go straight in into Toten. Right into running, it. We're not gonna hesitate. We're not gonna wait. Running, running, we're gonna go running, 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 right into running, running, it. Running, running, Let's go. Off rip. Hey, I'll take it. Off rip, Eric Dickerson. What play touchdown? I'm with it, dog. Come on now. I'll take that all day. But uh, anyways, as I was saying in the uh, the last game, they have nerfed my 4-3 overs. So this is the primary reason of why we have switched the dollar. So we're going to do what we can out of this. So far, dollar overall, it's not it's not bad if you know how to like adjust out of it quite a bit. So here's what we'll do here. He's going to go right back to this corner route too. No post. And he's going to be wide open. I don't even know why this post got that open. <sighs> match coverage, it shouldn't be getting this open. We, we even have safeties over top for that too. That's supposed to match up with that and it's just not matching up. Just like that, we got Tank now. So, very happy about that. So, we're going to continue toting this rock. If you're going to continue hit sticking, I'm with it. But once again too, this is a good thing to have uh, reach for it. Because even if he tries the conservative tackle, we're still going to be falling forward. We're still going to be fighting for extra yards. So I think that's a good combination to have. And if he wants to go for the hit stick, he can. We should be breaking off the tackle. And that's it. Possibly going for six. But then we all have situations like this. Once again, like I said earlier in the video, when your own line don't want to block, it don't matter who you have back there. You can have Eric Dickerson, you can have Christian McCaffrey. It don't matter. If your old line's not gonna pick up blocks, it don't matter. I don't, this is another thing I don't like about left-handed quarterbacks. When they wanna throw it away, they always do some weird flip around thing. I don't understand that. Like, yo, like right here, look, and he just turns around the circle to just to throw the ball away. I don't understand why he does that. But we'll make this more manageable for us. There we go. So we'll see what he does here. Got him. Brock Bowers, baby. I knew that was going to happen. I already knew it. That's okay, though. He ain't gonna get far. I am not worried about it. Why? So wait, Luke Keekley can't get picks? But D lineman, I've seen plenty of D lineman picks. My linebacker can't get me one? It's times like this, you can tell exactly how a game is gonna go, man. And it's not gonna go well for us. I probably should have matched that. That's probably my man. I don't understand. We actually, I played inside too, and we still gave up the inside. Why is he playing that? How is he getting over there, man? Like, it's like he already knew I was going. Like, I don't get that, bro. How did this, like, the CPU knew I was already going there? Like, what the hell? I've, I've, honest, I swear to God, I've never seen that. Typically, that post route that I have up typically freezes that from him doing that. Like, he won't go over there and play that. Unless he has him in a, a fucking a quarter flat on that sideline. That's the only way. But he didn't even drop back far enough. And somehow we gave up a streak. Okay. Man. Okay, I, I guess I can't do this then. Because I don't know what's supposed to match that. Alright, we're going to play underneath. We're going to shade inside. How much is this going to matter? I have no idea. You're joking. You're joking. That's my pick. All right, so 
finally got ourselves to stop. Happy about that, at least. Um, so we're gonna go back to toting this rock for a little bit. I'll take. Thank you. <clears throat> How did he pick that? Are you kidding me? He really picked that off? Javon Holland at corner? Wait, are you serious? Wait, he really picked that off. I was in front of him. How did he pick it off behind me? I couldn't get I don't I don't how why is everybody getting beat by this? Why is everybody getting beat by Vernon Davis? I'm I'm like right there and for some reason I'm slow I'm running in mud. Either way, man, it is what it is. Like if that's how I lose games, that's how I lose games. Like you you can only imagine what it would be like. For some of you guys that want me to do a full Raiders theme team, you can only imagine what it would be like. This is my primary team. This is what I take my this is what I'm taking into the MCS. This is what I take into Mutt Champs and Gauntlet. This is my primary team. Could you imagine what would happen if I was rocking a full Raiders theme team, whether it's 30 or 40, however many it is? Bro, I would get dog walked out here. Because I'm I'm getting dog walked. I'm getting damn near, I'm getting sold like dead ass by EA Sports, regardless of whatever I have on the field. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. But, uh, as far as the pickups go, Eric Dickinson, Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson, I'm not surprised. Nobody's going to really try his side like that. Um, it just kind of just is what it is. Um, Dickinson, man, once again, and I'm, and I'm going to specify this throughout the, the whole year because they're not going to fix O-line ever because they still haven't fixed it in the past, I don't know, five, six years. So, it is what it is. But, Dickinson is going to be um how he plays is going to be in, indicative of what is on your o-line it's just that simple i have one of the best o-lines in the game and still i can't get consistent run lanes on dollar which funny enough if you guys watched my last video i talked about season two i talked about this in season two dollar should not be able to stop the run as well as it does i don't give a fuck if it's Duran james in the box i don't care who it is these safeties in the box should not be standing up 300 plus pound old linemen in the lanes. It shouldn't happen ever. And I don't care that I broke a run with Eric Dickerson. I, I, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. There's no consistency to it. Period. Duran James should not be able to consistently blow up plays at the line of scrimmage going up, going against old linemen. It should not happen. And I know I'm going on a rant about this. And I already ranted about it in my last video. I'm going to continue ranting about it. They need to implement um, weak boxing in the game. You come out in a smaller set. In comparison to offense, your D-line should be either getting significantly pushed back or you should be getting pancake blocked. Period. End of story. I'm sorry to tell y'all, and I don't know why EA did this. I don't know if the Madden community is okay with this. And, and yes, I'm, I'm victim to this. I'm sitting in dollar and I, and I get it. But once again, I don't want to sit in dollar. Keep in mind, I was running 4-3 and I was happy running 4-3 until they nerfed 4-3. So now I don't have a choice. Now I have to sit in dollar because I don't, I'm not comfortable in any other defense right now currently. So could I switch to another defense? Eventually, maybe. But I mean, at this point, there's no there's no reason to. If I can stop the run out of dollar, then hell, there's no reason for me to switch. But once again, like I said, I was perfectly fine with running four three. So it is what it is, man. Like I said, I have one of the best O lines in the game, honestly. Outside of the one left guard that came out in uh, breakouts, which you will probably replace Cody at this point. Besides him, I have some of the best best old lineman and even that is not good enough for me to get consistent run length for eric dickerson now once again eric dickerson's a dog 100 percent but is he worth a mil no in my opinion he's not any ltd running backs that come out in this game 
they should not be anything over 600. You should not be buying these cards for anything over 600K. Because these running backs aren't going to do you any better than any other budget beast card like A-Chain. A-Chain has got 91, 91 speed on a Dolphins, or 90 speed, 90 or 91 speed on a Dolphins theme team. If he gets, if you can get him into open field, if your O-line gets you lanes to get him into open field, it's probably going. Just like Eric Dickerson. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's the thing. A chain's going for about 300k. Do you really need to spend a mil on Eric Dickerson just for just for it to all be up to whether or not your O line blocks a safety? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm. It's not worth it. It's not. So, that's my two cents on Eric Dickerson. He's a fun card to use. Happy to see him in the game. Obviously, worth the pickup. Absolutely not. Not for a mil. Absolutely not. He's an LTD, so his price is gonna stay up. 600K is my my bottom my bottom line on that. I'm not buying this card for anything over a 600K. Once again, obviously I did. This is for content purposes. For y'all, y'all should not be picking this up for anything over 600K. But as it is, Charles Woodson definitely gonna be worth the pickup. Obviously, if you if you can, obviously I think he's going for two mil. So I mean, is he worth the pickup for two mil? I mean, you don't really have a choice. <laughs> I mean, I, that, that's really obvious that you, you don't you don't have a choice. You know what I'm saying? You can either get him, Nate Wiggins, uh, what's his name, the Joey uh, Joey Porter, I think Joey Porter Jr. They're all going to be roughly around the same price, damn near. So, you know, it, it is what it is. You want you want good corners? You don't have to come up out them pockets. It's just that simple. But either way, that's enough for my rant and raving, bro. If you guys enjoyed the video, man, make sure you guys drop a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. It's free. It only takes one second. By the way, also, Dolphins theme team, coming real soon. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.